Sure. I'd love to go to a sci-fi, fantasy, sorcery, comic book, magic, old retired movie stars convention. Sounds like fun. Gotta go. Sorry. This always happens. And I even brought my magical staff. Robot girl. Misty? Help! I haven't truly lived yet! Oh my gosh! I almost... I know! You almost fell in the wrong spot. <laughs> See? You're all right. Down you go! <laughs> so, what's on your mind, Wolverine? Oh, is all that noise bothering you? meditating in India. Jersey. Right. So what are you doing superheroing in these parts? Oh, sorry, buddy. Am I stepping on your turf? I just figured with all the monsters, aliens, and evil sock puppets, this town has enough weird stuff going on for dozens of heroes. You got that right. And don't worry. I'll give you a cut of the loot. Uh, okay. You busy? Let me buy my buddy a can of oil. Well, I missed my chance to go to the sci-fi convention, so... Hey, we are sci-fi. Come on, Jen. It's ladies' night at Mesmer's, and you're the closest thing I can find. Please, Mom. Can't I skip the workout just this once? Not if you want to keep up your reaction time. You've got responsibilities, young lady. <laughs> so, uh, how do you get your hair so spiky? Ah! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my! Uh, I say, I don't match cotton to being upside down. <laughs> Something about this looks familiar. For Red Ivan! Hey, Misty! Be careful! There's an invisible monster that... Misty? You need any help with that thing? Oh, hi, Jen. You've been here long. Actually, I was here first, but... Um... Uh... Guess this means I can go to the mall. No, no, you don't. You have target practice. What's the point of practicing if Misty's gonna take away all my targets? It's your duty to protect the planet. No one else's. You ready? Yep. Three of clubs! Jack of diamonds! Seven of hearts! What's the problem? Already taken care of. That Misty girl was here. Looks like Misty's stealing your thunder. Yeah. And doing all your work. Yeah. Leaving you with time on your hands. Yeah? Time to finally be a normal teen and do whatever you want. Yeah! Ray Tanner in North Tremerton, where space biker hoodlums are causing panic and mayhem. Space bikers, Jenny? Space bikers, Sheldon. Misty will take care of it. How much do you know about Misty anyway? You met her once for a day or two, and she wanted you to leave Earth forever. Well, forever turned out to be not very long. And don't forget, Sheldon, she's also a runaway who was thrown out of school with no friends, no family, no roots. Yeah! Is this who we want protecting our city? Sure. Why not? Good news, Trumaton. The space biker rampage has been halted. As usual, all credit goes to the mysterious Misty. 
And it breathes fire! It's destroying everything! And Tuck is down there someplace! You woke me up for that? Misty will take care of it. Misty's down there, but she's not doing anything! Oh. Oh! Don't worry, Tuck! I'll... Um, no problem. I can run downtown. Are you sure you're up to this? Please, it's only been two weeks. Little fella, have you seen a fire-breathing monster around here? Brad, help me! I'm stuck! Stuck? You're never stuck! Plush toy. If you want to keep that cute little face of yours, then. You know, I usually burn incense when I meditate, but the smell of a burning city can be just as relaxing. People are in danger! Why don't you do something? They stiffed me. What? Your town, Tremerton. They wouldn't cough up the cash for services rendered. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm a hero for hire. I save people for money. You knew that. And if they don't pay up, you just let them get pummeled? Pretty much. I have to eat, don't I? I'm not living with my mom like some people. It's a rain and Jen. Or is it rain and Jenny's from heaven? Ha ha. I could have gotten out by myself. I know, but since you're a little rusty, I thought I'd lend you a hand. Are you sure? I'm not paying you. What are friends for? Since you're out of shape, we'll go low tech. We can use this bus like a bat to pound the bunny against that building. Are you insane? Give me that! This is a busload of small children, and that building is a hospital. Hey, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. A true superhero knows her job is to protect the eggs. A professional superhero knows that time is money. The sooner we defeat this thing, the sooner we can move on to our next job. It's not a job, it's a duty. Listen, amateur, people pay me to solve problems, and this thing is a problem. If you're smashing busloads of kids, you're the problem. Well, gosh, Jenny, maybe you should be fighting me. Well, if I have to. That was a mistake. She's mine. I want you out of my town. Why would I want to stay in Treverton? Stupid people who won't pay for protection, stupid heroes who work for free. Oh, but there is one little problem. Nobody tells me what to do. I'll give you a free shot. No? What's that? You want to give me a free shot? Gosh, it seems so unfair. But since it is your last request... This is 
where it ends, Robot Girl. Why are you doing this? I thought we were friends. The only reason I'm not destroying you is because no one is paying me to do it. Well, look who's up and about. How are you feeling? Better. I thought you were going to be here a half hour ago. I wanted to get in some extra workout time. Taking things seriously now, hmm? Did someone learn a lesson, Jenny? Did someone learn a lesson, Sheldon? Someone certainly did. Just because someone else flies into town, it doesn't mean someone is relieved from her duty to protect the planet. Whatever. The point is, I'm back, I'm strong, and I'm ready for anything. Bring it on, world!